It's my life. guys welcome back so um this is going to be a t-part closure video so i measured the net into a four by four so now this is okay this is a four and a half so now the middle part would be like a one and a half inch so you just have to measure it like a four by four then you can now go ahead to measure how long you want the pattern to be or how wide you want the tipper to be so that's what i did here i measured it into a four and a half by four and a half so yeah, i cut it off giving me a square shape and the middle is um i think uh one and a half inch then after you've measured you have to cut out the t shape like it is here then you can now go ahead to measure again how um how wide you want your closure to be and how long you want the pattern to be so i um pin the net on my mannequin head on the wig cap i made a mistake although i have seen like two lines on the left but i corrected it and um yeah you see this is like almost a one and a half inch for the width and um it's a four by four closure which is a t-pass closure so i use i'm going to cut off the weft from the ribbon that i'll use for the ventilating the closure guys i'm showing you got an in-depth video on how i ventilate the um back of the closure so this is the vertical um line i am ventilating as you can see i gave a mark to show where i am supposed to stop so i've gone with through this um, method with you guys over and over again but i'm just going to come back down and tell you guys what's what's up so um i am ventilating on one vertical line leaving the next vertical line empty and ventilating the line after that so practically this is how i do all my closure like i have to make sure the back of the closure is bulky enough so if the web does not show that's a very key um point for the web not to show you have to make sure the closure at the back is very thick not too thick but it's thick enough so um i like to go in again to fill out the empty space um by the edge so um the net i would tell there won't be too much net or hole showing at the back so i'm done with the back i have still ventilating the middle part um so i left two holes in for the middle pattern so i think I, um, i'm used to doing one hole for the pattern but this time around i gave two i left two holes for the middle pattern so that it can be a bit wide so i am practically taking like two three um strands of hair passing it through the net and um just tying the knots and um yeah So it's the same method here you ventilate um one line leave the next line and then ventilate the line after that so for the middle pattern i ventilated all the lines um in between because i don't want i like my closure to be like the pattern to be then then you know let it let it is a pattern it should be a pattern that's how i like my closure any closure you see me do now just know i ventilate the whole line of the closure
so guys for the hairline as you can see i'm almost done with the closure for the hairline what i did was um you know i like, like i said you ventilate one line and you leave another line empty and ventilate the next line after that so for the front part which i want like a like a, a natural looking hairline like a baby hair hairline i ventilate on one hole leave the next hole empty then ventilate on the third the third hole as you can see watch closely i ventilated one line the one hole left the next hole empty then ventilate the other the third hole this just makes the front not, not be not to be too bulky and it's um also a good way to if you want to do like a baby hair um yeah this is practically how i do my hairline so yeah guys just keep on watching the rest of the video to see the outcome of the hair So here after i ventilated the closure i went ahead to wig it and i'm going to be starting the next clip yes guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you didn't know how to make a tip closure i hope this video helped you to like start your ventilating journey and uh, don't forget to follow me on instagram at touch of mercy and it's underscore mercy hello and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!